In the last video, we set up TimescaleDB, imported some time series data, and created a basic visualization. But that was just the beginning. In this video, which is part two, we'll take that same database further. We'll include some more data, optimize queries, compress older data to save space, and create better visualizations. By the end, you'll know how to make your TimescaleDB database run faster and see more of its features. If you haven't seen part one yet, that's where we set up the database and loaded our first data set. You can find that link in the description. But you can still follow along as we go. I'll explain everything as we go along. Hi, I'm Ben Brum from Database Star, and I'm working with Tiger Data to create this tutorial. Let's start by adding another visualization. One common way of viewing financial data is with something called a candlestick visualization. This shows the open and close price, as well as the high and low price for each day. It's a way to add focus to some values, but also show the extreme values on the same chart. TimescaleDB includes some handy features to help you analyze financial data and create these candlestick charts easily. One of these features is called a hyperfunction, which is an SQL function within TimescaleDB. There are three hyperfunctions we will use. The first is time bucket, which will help you aggregate values into time segments. The next is a function called first, which helps you calculate the opening price. Then we have the last function, which helps you calculate the closing price. Let's write a query using these functions. You can write this in your SQL editor, in the PSQL terminal, or using the Tiger service on the web. For this video, we'll use the web version. We'll select from our crypto ticks table. First, we use the time bucket function. We specify one day, which is the unit of time to segment the data by. Then we select the symbol, which is the name of the asset. We use the first function to find the open price, then the max function to find the highest price. Then we use the min to find the lower price, and then the last function to find the closing price for the day. We can also use the last function on the day volume column to find the volume traded for the day. Finally, we group by the bucket and symbol column so we can see our aggregate values. Let's run this query. We click run and see the results. Notice how the query takes about five seconds to run. We'll come back to this later. We look at the results and we can see the bucket, symbol, open, high, low, close and day volume for each day. This is what we need. However, there is a way we can improve this. Timescale DB has a feature called continuous aggregate, which is like a materialized view that is updated automatically. It has the performance benefits of a materialized view, but also keeps the data updated. Let's create one now. We create a materialized view called one day candle. We use the with keyword and specify timescaledb.continuous. This means the data will be refreshed by default. We can run this and a new materialized view called one day candle is created. Now, as part of this continuous aggregate feature, you can define how often it is refreshed. To do this, we'll call a function in timescaledb using a select query in the editor here. We run this function, which specifies the view name, the offsets, and the interval. We run this and it has completed. Next, we can use this continuous aggregate as a source for our new query, which will be used for the chart. We can query this one day candle view and filter on the symbol of BTC USD and only show values from the last 14 days. We run this and see our results here. We can see the runtime is now 0.6 seconds, which is faster than before. We're also filtering the data in a different way, which explains much of the improvement. So we've got our data for one symbol and a time period. Let's create a visualization. We're going to use a service called Grafana to create our candlestick chart. In part one of this video, we connected to the database, so you can watch that video or refer to the documentation. To create a candlestick chart, we go to Dashboards, then click on New, and then New Dashboard. Click on Add Visualization, then select the data source. You'll see this screen. On the panel on the right, in the Visualizations menu, select Candlestick from the options.
Now we can add our data to be shown. To do this, go to the Query section at the bottom of the screen and select Code. Paste in the SQL query we just ran on the Tiger screen in this section. Click Run Query. Once the query is finished, you may need to click Zoom Out to adjust the time period for the chart. You'll see a nice candlestick visualization here, which uses our Timescale DB data. This is a great way to use Timescale DB features for your time series data. As your database grows, storage can become a real issue, especially for historical data that you don't query often. That's where compression comes in. This is another feature of Timescale DB that allows you to store data in a different way to allow for more efficient storage. Let's do this now. First, we convert all of the chunks in our hypertable to a column store by running the convert to column store command. We run this and it has completed. If you get an error like this, it could mean you already have the column store enabled for this table. If that is the case, we can proceed by just adding a policy for this table. To do this, we run this command. This will add a policy to move chunks to the column store at a specific time interval, which is 60 days in this example. Click Run and this is completed. We can compare the size before and after this command by running this query. We can see the results here, which show null for both cases. This has happened because our table already had the column store turned on from the start. If you didn't, then you may see two different sizes here which show the space differences. Let's run our earlier query on this table. Which selected all data with some aggregate functions and grouped by the bucket and the symbol. We run this and see our results, which are the same as earlier in the video. In this video, we optimized queries with continuous aggregates, compressed old data to save space, and created a candlestick visualization using Grafana. This was all done with TimescaleDB, an open source time series database built on PostgreSQL. Tiger Data has recently announced a new free tier where you can access all of this for free. The free tier also gives developers instant access to all of the new AI tooling, including forkable infrastructure for testing, an interface to control agents, integrated search and persistent memory. All available to test out for free right now with no credit card required. If you want to try it yourself, use the link in the description to create a free account and start building right now. Thanks for watching.